Hey guys, back again with you. I uh, want to do a quick video on some jackets that I have. I live in Wisconsin as some of you know and our cold weather season is coming to an end here. We're coming into the summer of 2012. Uh, so I'm just about to pack up uh, and store my winter coats that I use. Uh, so I wanted to just do a quick video on them. Uh, these are actually made by Rothko or Ultra Force, which is a, a military surplus provider of clothing and other accessories. Um, these jackets are real nice. I found these at a military surplus store actually. They ran me about uh, $70 a piece I believe. I'm sure you could probably find a little bit better of a price. I usually like to buy local and uh, this military surplus store I like a lot and I like to support them so uh, to pay the extra 10 or 15 bucks uh, definitely goes a long way for these, these local shops. So I'm willing to do that and uh, I, for the purchase I'm really happy with what I got here. I'll, I'll just kind of briefly show you. Um, these are 100% polyester. They are cold weather coats like I mentioned by Rothko. It does have uh, an exterior polyester. The, ni the nice thing about these is they're almost waterproof. I'd say they're at least uh, for sure water resistant. Uh, I don't know if they go as far as saying it's waterproof, but uh, it, it really withstands the, the cold weather and, the, and the, the rain and the snow that falls on you. In fact, I use this particular one uh, for snow blowing. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's a large. Um, I, I originally purchased this one first and uh, it is a little bit large on me. I'm 5'11", 165 pounds, so I'm a pretty average build. Um, and the large was a little bit too big on me. When I'm wearing my tactical vest, I really like this particular one because it, it can fit over everything and I have a lot of movement and room and everything. Uh, but if I don't have anything on underneath or I'm not layered up a lot, this, this does look a little bit bulky on me. Uh, the second one I bought is just pure black. Uh, and this one I believe was a medium and obviously I, I normally don't buy things in medium but the Rothko seems to to fit me on there a lot better when the medium uh, or smaller things and I'll kind of zoom in here so you can see it actually does give you some statistics there as far as what you got height over uh, 63 inches uh, it says chest uh, men's 37 to 41 uh, stock number 68-31 it says liner cold weather coat. Uh, it's got a number there. Outer covering 100% polyester. Batting is 100% polyester. And uh, it's by Fox Outdoor Products. And it's got some uh, cleaning instructions there. Uh, real nice jacket. Uh, the one complaint I do have on these jackets is they are made in China. And some of the um, uh, end, frayed ends of these things, uh, you can tell that it, you know, they really didn't go through the final quality inspection where they cut away a lot of the little um, you know flyaway um, strings that you'll find so it does have quite a few of those just not hanging on the coat not a huge deal whatsoever those are you know just the ends of things that they just failed to trim off so uh, it's not like the coat is actually falling apart at all or any of that it's just one step that this manufacturer didn't go through uh, that all clothes go through so um, ultimately it's very durable I've, I've worn it now for at least this one for two seasons uh, in doing it in snow blowing and hard and hard weather and uh, on the, the shooting range etc and it's really held up uh, to that so I uh, can't say enough about the durability of these uh, the front does have two pockets uh, I should say one pocket here and one pocket up here they're button attached um, the right side or the left side if you're wearing I guess has the same exact thing a pocket there and a pocket there uh, I don't believe there is an inside pocket it does have the liner so you can take the liner out but the original um, outside layer doesn't have an inside pocket at all so um, you are missing out I guess on an inside pocket when you do take the liner out these are just the outer shell so they're great for just uh, you know a spring or fall day uh, wind jacket more or less uh, again being it's water resistant uh, it does work real well for those types of seasons it has a nice durable um, zipper on here and I haven't had any issues with the zipper at all uh, it's also got a line of buttons that you're able to button after that as you can see here uh, all the way to the top uh, along the top sleeve here they do have on each the left and right hand shoulders the button flaps here not really sure what those are for but uh, whatever and the nice thing about this partic these particular jackets is on the sleeves it does have a zipper or I should say a, a um, a velcro strap which allows you to adjust the, the um, tightness of these 
um, sleeve ends pretty well so you're able to kind of zip it up over your your glove real quick and strap it in and and have uh, you know a nice tight um, seal on your on your gloves which is kind of cool so uh, with that said um, I think that's pretty much it for the white camo jacket it does have I should say on the top here as well a built-in hood which is kind of nice you can zip this guy open along the top I'll just pull it out here for you and you can pull out a just real thin hood made out of the polyester material as well so that's kind of nice it's um, light it's in there it doesn't add any excess um, weight or uh, bulk to the back of the jacket it really just kind of hides in there nice it's water resistant material again so it'll protect your head uh, just overall nice having that option kind of tucked in there I believe it is uh, sewn in so you're not able to actually remove that uh, but being that it's nice and light I don't see that as a problem uh, the black is exactly the same model it's got all the same features uh, the only difference is it's one size smaller and for my build I have found that the medium was definitely a better fit for me on a day-to-day -day wear um, so I guess if you're if you got my similar build uh, you might want to look at maybe just going a, a size smaller than you normally would go like I said I generally in most other circumstances get the large um, with all other manufacturers but uh, the medium seem to work better in this circumstance for me so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you ever get a chance and you're looking for a good jacket, I would definitely recommend. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks.